Hello dear friends, welcome back. I hope you watched the video on Trendelenburg Burke position and all these positions. Let's go for the next position that is called the Sims position, the eighth one. Sims position. What is Sims position? So this position is important for about uh, the vaginal observation vaginal observation and anal surgeries anal surgeries so this position is important for that right how the patient lies in the sims position so first of all we should know that the patient should be lying on one side right lying on one side either right or left side right but the patient should lie on right side right so lying on one side the second important point is about this is that uh, the lower arm should be behind the back right so lower arm behind back okay don't worry friends i'm writing here the important points and we will go for the practical video please watch that you will learn this right and the third important point about sims position is that uh, the thigh should be a little bit flexed thighs flexed but the upper thigh thighs should be flexed but the upper should be a little more flexed so i'm writing here upper more flexed this is called the sims position <clears throat> let's go for the practical of this and we will come back and we will discuss the last position that is called the recovery position so let's have the practical start hello dear friends welcome back uh, now, as we discussed about the Sims position, now let's see the Sims position practically. As I told you that Sims position is mostly used during anal surgeries or during anal uh, examinations or during vaginal examinations. So, they use Sims position. So, let's now go towards the Sims position. Okay, turn to, the, to your right side. Now, look, if you want to examine the patient from any side, you can, but if you keep the heart of the patient superiorly that will be easy for the patient so that is that will be very good right so look he has turned to his right side now listen to me his lower hand right his lower arm must be in his back so look his lower arm is totally here so his lower arm is here and he is lying on his left side now we will tell him to go a little bit more like this he should keep his hand here right and now look his upper leg should be flexed more like this and his lower leg may be flex little but upper leg or upper thigh must be flexed a little bit more than the lower leg right so look carefully once again he is lying not fully on his uh, on his chest but a little bit what is the position patient is lying right his lower arm is on his back his upper arm or upper limb is on his uh, in, in in front of him right he is lying on his back right look his upper leg is more flexed than the lower leg now if i examine if i'm examining his anal uh, part or if there is a female i'm examining her anal or vaginally so i can do easily right so this is called the sims position see you in the next one <laughs>